Hi guys, this is Mike Doble with SkiSoutheast.com. It is your Saturday morning snow report at 8.30 Saturday morning, January 25th. And what we're watching right now, and in, in, uh, fun to be watching, is some light to moderate snowfall. I've been seeing it actually snowing pretty hard, some significant snowfall. This is a live shot at the top of Beach Mountain Parkway. And uh, this camera will scroll around here in a minute. And some of the other vantage points, you can see it's kind of moderately coming down and, and uh, some areas at the highest elevations are already reporting about an inch of snow and I wouldn't doubt it. Um, I actually commented a little earlier as I was doing the snow report, uh, Beach Mountain's not reporting any snowfall quite yet. Uh, Sugar was already reporting an inch, which that might have been a little bit ahead of the game, but heck by now, fast forward about 45 minutes, uh, I think beach and sugar both probably have pretty close to an inch of natural snowfall that is already falling. Um, it was actually snowing pretty significantly just a bit ago and we're still seeing some light snowfall uh, as we speak. Uh, this is obviously intended to be your snow report so let's go ahead and kind of get to that. I'll kind of run through it and uh, we'll, we'll make some comments kind of as we go I guess and, and go from there. Um, one thing I'll mention real fast and furious is um, kind of a teaser. I'm going to be posting another Ski Southeast video update, kind of a new feature that we're going to be doing uh, where we're interviewing this morning Brad Mortz of Appalachian Ski Mountain. We've got a lot of things going on over on the mountain today, uh, a lot of fun uh, things that are planned obviously for today and um, you know uh, Winter X Games, Phenom, uh, from Blowing Rock, North Carolina, is going to be on the mountain. Uh, no, he's not going to be on the mountain, but they're going to be watching him on the mountain um, as Red Bull has set up an inflatable uh, theater there at the base of Sugar Mountain, and uh, they're going to be uh, watching uh, those events, I think, throughout the day and having some music and fun and just a lot of other things that are kind of going on. Um, but Luke Winkleman of Blowing Rock is kind of a new star in the uh, X Games circuit, uh, I guess, so to speak. And um, they will be featuring him and watching him and other X Games uh, participants at Appalachian Ski Mountain today. So let's go ahead and give it there. Uh, Appalachian Ski Mountain is reporting a 42 to 60 inch base groom conditions. They are 100% open. Uh, 12 slopes and trails did not make snow. They're not making snow right now. They are open though for night skiing, have their terrain parks open, uh, reporting right now 31 degrees there um, on at Appalachian Ski Mountain. I uh, mentioned just a little bit ago, natural snowfall falling on top of Beach Mountain right now. Uh, you can see uh, kind of a uh, misty, dusty snow uh, right now, but we were seeing some significant snowfall falling in portions of the area too. This is a live shot up at the top at the summit camera and they are also making snow there now. But Beach Mountain's reporting a wet pack. It's going to be a little bit of wet powder, I guess, uh, 42 to 78 inch base. Uh, they're not reporting snowfall right now, but they've had about close to an inch of snow already. They are making snow and they have 10 slopes and trails, seven lifts. They are open for night skiing. They have their terrain parks open and tubing is open as well. 25 degrees being reported right now at um, Beach Mountain Resort. So let's go ahead and go now, kind of in alphabetical order today, we'll go to Bryce Resort in Virginia, where Bryce is reporting 40 degrees. They do report a 48 inch base, frozen granular and groomed conditions. Uh, obviously at that temperature, they're not making snow, but they do have eight slopes and trails, one left. They are open for night skiing. Uh, train park is not open. They do have tubing and ice skating open as well. Again, 40 degrees there at Bryce Resort. Uh, again, we're going to stay alphabetical, and the great news is I get to show you guys uh, live shots of Canaan Valley Resort as we now have not one, but two brand new cameras uh, put, positioned at the uh, lodge and at the mid-station. Wish we could show you a little bit nicer imagery right now, but obviously we've had that wild and woolly uh, weather pattern where we had uh, three to four days of snow over the last seven days very cold frigid temperatures four or five degrees six degrees uh, and then now you know we're sitting here looking at Catalucci this morning at 36 degrees and about an inch of rain fell and um, I'll talk a little bit more about the rain over on the first tracks news if you go to skisoutheast.com so be sure to check out that I report 
all of the wild and woolly uh, transitions that we've had pretty much all season long so far. Uh, this is a shot right now from the Canaan Valley Resort mid-station. Uh, again, uh, there's going to be snowfall falling throughout the day tomorrow, uh, today and this evening and tomorrow, and actually over the next several days uh, up that way with perhaps a little bit more significant uh, snowfall falling in that area. So uh, be sure to check back on this camera. You're probably going to see a lot nicer imagery as the weekend goes along. Uh, but I know Steve Drumheller and those guys are all excited to have the webcams back. So uh, we'll take the vision and the views that we're getting right now and know that it'll get just a whole lot better over the next 24 hours or so. Uh, Canaan Valley Resort is reporting 15 to 30 inch base wet granular conditions. Um, they are reporting um, a little bit of uh, man-made snow that they were able to make. Um, Obviously, right now the temperature is 36, so they're not making snow, but they are open with 22 slopes and trails, two lifts. Uh, they are not open for night skiing, don't have terrains, but they do have their tubing uh, hill open. And again, I reported it's 36 degrees right now, but they do have tubing and ice skating open uh, as well. Go ahead and staying uh, alphabetical, we're going to go to Catalucci where you can see some uh, mixed skies up there, but the most important thing you're seeing is a lot of snowmaking going on at CAT. Uh, they're reporting 46 to 74 inch base uh, are making snow, as you can see. 18 slopes and trails, that makes them 100% open. They have five lifts. They are open for night skiing, and they do have tubing open as well. Reporting 29 degrees there right now, and again, uh, Tube World is open. So conditions are looking pretty sweet there uh, at Catalucci and Maggie Valley. We'll now go over to Massanutten where Kenny Griffin was skiing yesterday. Um, ran into longtime fan and, and uh, friend Mimi from over at Massanutten. Uh, but anyway, he said the conditions were awesome yesterday. Enjoyed the whole day uh, skied. In fact, I don't think it started misting rain or anything there until later in the afternoon. Uh, but Massanutten is looking very nice as well. Uh, 39 degrees there this morning, though, so no snowmaking, but they are reporting a 34-inch groom base, nine slopes and trails open, six lifts, and I think they've got 10 or 12 lanes of snow tubing. They are open for night skiing, um, and again, I mentioned it's 39 degrees right now. Uh, they do also have their ice skating rink open um, as well. So. Let me skip over to now, if I can get over to them uh, and give you a shot. Uh, interestingly, I'm going to go to Obergatlinburg next, where you can see there is a dusting of snow that's happened thus far. Um, they're actually reporting colder temperatures here at Ober uh, than we're seeing right now at Canaan Valley and Snowshoe. It's 29 degrees. Uh, Ober is reporting a 25 to 45 inch base groom conditions. Uh, they have not been able to make snow, um, although those temperatures are hovering right at that opportunity to do so. Six slopes and trails today, two lifts. They are open for night skiing, in fact, till midnight tonight, and they do have ice skating and snow tubing open as well. So uh, conditions should be really in great shape uh, there uh, on the mountain. We do not have a live shot of Sapphire Valley. But I can tell you it's 27 to 61 inch base, all machine made. They do have two slopes and trails. Uh, their frozen falls tubing area is open. And I believe they're open from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, today. So next we will now go to the uh, West Virginia ski area. Um, we're going to go to Snowshoe next. I'm going to show you the boathouse shot at the bottom where you can see things are kind of already starting to kind of get a bit of a dusting of snow, you can see that kind of on the ground. Uh, interesting, Snowshoe is reporting 29 inches right now, and I'll skip around, I think, uh, up at Shaver Center, uh, you can see they're getting a little bit more of that snog type uh, snow fog mix or whatever. No snowmaking going on right now, though, at Snowshoe. They're reporting a 45 inch groom base, 47 slopes and trails open, 14 lifts. They were able to make some snow uh, over this last several hours um, and they may be making snow on portions of the mountain as we speak but anyway they are open for night skiing they've got multiple terrain parks obviously their coca-cola snow tubing hill is open as well so things are looking really nice there at snowshoe uh, we'll go next to omni homestead resort in hot springs virginia i was watching them uh, doing some uh 
grooming earlier and it looks like now they've kind of shaved up some snow and packed it around uh, for the kids to be able to play at the bottom of the mountain. As far as we know, we have not gotten an updated report uh, from their team there this morning, but as far as we know, they are open with two slopes and trails, two lifts, 24 to 38 inch groomed base. Uh, they have not made snow over the last 24 hours. Uh, they do have, um, they're reporting right now, I guess, 34 degrees, and of course they're open today. I think they've got their ice rink open as well, but I would call ahead uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, next, we'll go to Wintergreen Resort, and you're looking at their tubing hill right now. Uh, the slope side camera kind of pans around and shows uh, some really great views across uh, both portions of that mountain. We'll kind of leave it here for a few minutes. Uh, but Wintergreen is reporting 38 degrees this morning, so obviously no snow making. Uh, groom conditions, 30, 30 inch base, 14 slopes and trails, 4 lifts. They are open for night skiing. They have terrain parks open and snoo, snoo, snow tubing is open uh, as well. Also uh, should report that they have uh, uh, great conditions from, every, from all indication. Everybody's kind of been talking about how nice the conditions there are at Wintergreen. Uh, currently, in fact, here's another nice shot uh, showing, uh, you know, kind of a different angle of the top of the resort. Uh, next, we will go to uh, Winter Place. We'll give you the resort center camera, which is pretty popular right now. Already seeing a pretty nice crowd gathering there for uh, Terry Pfeiffer and his crew, Tom Wagner and those guys. Uh, Winter Place is at 34 degrees, so no snow making going on right now. Reporting a 28 to 44 inch base groomed in granular conditions, 21 slopes and trails, seven lifts. They do have night skiing, no terrain park stuff, but they do have their snow tubing hill uh, open for your tubing enjoyment as well. So things are looking really great there at Wintergreen. And then last but not least, uh, we'll go over to the W's where we're going to show you Wisp Resort. This is a shot of Deep Creek Lake. Can't really tell with that shot, but there are some uh, thin, frozen portions of beautiful Deep Creek Lake right now. Uh, Whispers reporting a 26-inch base groomed and granular conditions, 21 slopes and trails, 9 lifts. They are open for night skiing. They do have terrain parks, snow tubing, uh, ice skating, mountain coastering, uh, you name it. And they're expecting 4 or 5 inches or so of uh, natural snow. Uh, on top of everything, so it should look awfully pretty as we uh, we go into to looking at Wisp a little bit later on. All right, and last we'll go to Wolf Ridge Resort, where it's 26 degrees this morning. Uh, they are reporting a little bit of man-made snow uh, and also reporting a half an inch of natural snow with a 16 to 30 inch groomed base. They've increased now to six slopes and trails. I think that's the most we've seen open at Wolf so far this year. They are open for night skiing and they do have tubing open as well. So that's your snow report right now for the southeast of Mid-Atlantic. And I'll remind you again to uh, come back, check back as at 10 o'clock. Uh, we're going to be uh, chatting with Brad Mortz of Appalachian Ski Mountain. We'll also monitor the natural snowfall, which now you're seeing coming down a little bit harder on top of Beach Mountain. Um, this is the Beach Mountain Parkway cam. and. Uh, some rather significant snow falling. Looks like maybe about an inch of snow or so has fallen so far and uh, more is expected, I guess, over the next 24, 48 hours. And in fact, we're looking at a little bit of snow, I think, uh, into the middle part of next week. So we'll continue to watch for that and uh, check back with us soon. Also, again, remind you, uh, the Ski Southeast Summit is going on February 28th, 29th, and the 1st uh, of March at Snowshoe Mountain. Be sure to go over to Ski Southeast Check out the Ski Southeast Summit page and join us. It should be a lot of fun. And I will do a, a promo for that a little bit later on as well. Uh, but again, check back at around 10 o'clock or so this morning as we're going to do a bit of a, a live interview with Brad Mortz of Appalachian Ski Mountain. So look for that as well. I think that's it for now. Enjoy your day. If you're lucky enough to be out on the mountain, enjoy it a whole lot more. See you guys.